What's up guys? Welcome back for another quad vlog. It's a beautiful day to be out for a ride on the quad, but actually I'm going to stop and get gas quick. But after we get gas, I think I'm going to head out to the country or at least try to find a little bit better slash funner place to ride, more fun place to ride than the city streets. I'm going to get some gas for this old turd. And I guess it looks like they only have 87. So I guess we're stuck with 87. And $5 is all it takes to fill up the quad. A little bit less than the bike. The tank only holds like, I think two and a half gallons and I usually run it to, you know, like a quarter tank or so. And in case you guys are wondering, I never put 87, well, I usually run premium in like, you know, my four wheeler and the Daytona, but I could not have put like the 87 gas in the Triumph Daytona solely because it runs a 12.5 or 12.7 to one compression ratio. But in the Raptor, it's only 10 to one. So if you have a lower compression engine, then you can run 87 and it really does no benefit at all to run a 91 octane or a premium fuel in a lower compression engine. And there's a common myth that like a higher octane fuel produces more power because it really doesn't. What all that like a higher octane fuel does is prevent engine knock in a higher compression engine. So it's kind of like makes more power if you have a higher compression engine. Like if I was to run 87 octane in my Triumph Daytona, it would produce less power than if I was to run a uh, premium fuel such as like a 91 or 93 octane. <laughs> That's one way to do it, I guess. I don't know if you guys saw, but that lady on the back was holding onto like a package and there's something else behind her on a motorcycle. Dang, okay. Like, I mean, I know you got a broken arm, man, but you can't like just walk across, jaywalk across traffic and hold everyone up. And really the only reason why I run 91 octane in the quad is just because usually it has like extra additives and I don't know, stuff. It makes me feel good about putting like a little bit more expensive gas in the engine. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so I guess we are headed out to the country right now. It's 55 mile an hour road here, so let's speed it up. Look at the dust cloud behind us. So I don't really have too much of an interesting topic for you guys today. I thought I'd come out and just kind of go for a ride with you. I do want to talk about the uh, new 2019 Raptor. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but they look sick. There's a gray, primarily gray and blue, and then there's a red one with like a red frame, and they both look sick. Oh my God, I'm on the interstate? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely gonna get pulled over if a cop sees me, for sure. We're getting off, we're getting off. I totally did not know that road just like turned into an interstate. Like, what the heck? And I'm sure most of you guys know, but I have a 2014 Raptor 700. Obviously I have the orange color from that year. I don't know what other color Yamaha made in 2014, but I'm definitely just gonna go through this red light. Um, but I have a 2014 orange color and in my opinion it well it's my favorite like Raptor 700 made I really like the orange color but if I was to you know not have this option I think that red one the 2019 the red one is pretty sick and honestly the gray and blue one looks super cool too what is this what do we have here Uh, 
bunch of like military stuff. South Dakota National Guard. I'm probably straight up gonna get arrested for just like dicking around out here. Ah, I didn't see that curb. <laughs> I really want to find my way into like a gravel pit like that. That thing would be super fun to ride in. A couple years back I actually did find a way into one of these things and they're super fun to just ride up. But this one and pretty much every other one in town has been like blocked off, which sucks. And even this got blocked off. I'm pretty sure that was open last time and they put a fence up. Because I definitely was here before. We can go right out here. No trespassing. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yep. What is this? Like a water treatment plant, maybe? So getting back to the 2019 Raptors that are coming out, I don't believe that there's any major changes really that they're doing, obviously besides, they redesign obviously the plastics and stuff like that color wise and graphics, but uh, I don't think like mechanically there's any differences. They might have done something with uh, the frame, like composition wise, made it a little lighter, but I'm not really sure on that front. I might post it on the screen if they did. Hey look, there's Buffalo. It's like we're back in the hills. But honestly, I'm kind of waiting for Yamaha to do an engine upgrade to the Raptor 700 because they've had the same, you know, 686cc engine for like years now. And I feel like it's it's time for them to like come out with a little bit something different to put in the, in the 700. If it's only just like, you know, increasing the compression ratio to maybe like 11 to one or something like that, that'd be, that'd be pretty big news. If the 700 had like more towards 11 to one or maybe even 11.5 to one compression, um, this thing would probably put out upwards a little bit more than 50 horsepower because right now if you dyno just like a stock Raptor, they put out maybe like 42 horsepower, something like that. And uh, you know, that's, that's great. They have tons of torque and everything like that. I love it. But uh, just a little bit higher compression would make this thing, would make this thing shine. I haven't done any wheelie practice since I've done the twist throttle, so maybe let's maybe let's try one out. It's probably gonna be terrible, like usual, but we'll see. That was actually pretty decent. For me at least. For me it was kinda decent, okay? I think we'll end on that one. I haven't practiced wheelies at all since I've put on the twist throttle, so, and the new clutch lever. So, you know, for, for a first go, it's not that bad. So this mode of vlog's kind of been like all over the place. We went out to the country. I didn't really find anything cool or a place to ride because the town that I live in is hecka boring. And uh, there's no people with just like, I don't know. The city doesn't just have like a land or there's no like forest or anything to just, tear off and ride into like out in the hills. The hills are amazing if you have a quad. I do want to know what you guys think about the 2019 Raptor 700s that are coming out. Um, I probably threw up pictures on the screen as I was talking about them. So if you guys have an opinion or think they look cool or think they look bad, let me know in the comments below for sure. Next week's video, I plan on doing a little bit more wheelie practice. I haven't done hardly any besides the stuff today and I only pretty much what you guys saw is pretty much all that I did. So um, I definitely feel like I can get better at doing wheelies. So that's what I'm gonna practice next week for the video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the shorter quad vlog and I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. I will see you guys next Saturday for another quad vlog.